Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to the PrestaShop Modules Fixer, the ultimate tool for PrestaShop add-ons contributors. In this very quick demonstration, I will show you how powerful this tool is and how it can effectively cut down the fixing time when preparing a module for the official PrestaShop add-on store. Now, as you might know, the PrestaShop Cloud has launched and merchants using it will only be able to install modules coming from the official store. This means we as developers selling modules on our own will need to publish them on the official marketplace as well to avoid losing a huge portion of customers. So let's see how it works. I have prepared one of my modules as an example, the ticket system. So the first thing I want to do is upload the module to the official validator. So validator.pressthashop.com. I will choose my ticket. and process the validation. So as you can see, there is a good bunch of errors here. Not too many admittedly, but they do take quite some hours to be fixed nonetheless. And I did some tests with the fixer with modules. I don't own the copyright off, so I can't use them in the video, but I cut down up to 4,000 errors just to just a hundred or so. So that is a huge time saver really. So let's now see how the fixer works. First off, you need of course an account. And once you have it, you can choose to subscribe for three different credit types. And they are these ones. So one module for five euros, three modules for 10 euros, or five modules for 15 euros, which is of course the most convenient one. And as soon as you will have paid for the subscription, you will be able to upload and fix your module from the fixer page, which is this one. So as you can see, there are some tips here as well. So before uploading, make sure your modules don't have any obvious error or especially the PHP fixer might fail. Then a special notice must be made on mixed line endings. And if any of your files have mixed, uh, a mixed line endings warning when you upload it to the validator, there are high chances the fixer will not work. So to fix it, simply open the file in a, any code editor and add maybe a blank line or two get rid of them and save the file again. That should uh, completely fix the issue. Then when ready, of course, you can use this form here to fix a module. And at the bottom are listed some uh, of the ones you have uploaded already that can be accessed and fixed or downloaded again in case you didn't raise them. As you can see, I, I tried with my cash on delivery with fee module and the ticket system as well, but I got rid of both. But anyway, I got some credit, so let's try PS Ticket and make sure that the name here matches the module's name exactly. I will choose my PS Ticket and submit. So on this next page, I will first be given the chance to add a license, but I did it already. And then of course, fix the module. So let's give it a try first, PHP Fixer. All right, then TPL fixer, licenses, and indexes. All right, and there is, it's that darn quick. So download my module now, and I will call it PS ticket um, new new, since I have a new already. Oops, save. All right, go back to the validator now. So this is the previous one. Let's upload the PS ticket new new. Open process. All right, and that's it. Can you can you see just let's just make a comparison and can you see just how different that is and how few errors we got now? Of course, there are some left. It cannot fix everything, but most of them are gone. Just look at standards, for example. It's um, 343 down to 54, and let's inspect them. These ones are, are really, really easy to fix since there are simply tabs must be used to indent, 
indent lines, spaces are not allowed. So to, to fix this one would be enough to open up the file in a code editor and use the replace spaces with tabs uh, feature if, if it has it. But it's really, really quick fix. So that's how powerful this tool is. And if you're looking to publish your modules on the official PrestaShop add-on store, but have been discouraged by the amount of fixes needed, then of course the PrestaShop modules fixer is what you need. All right, happy fixing.